In this video we will see how to use a CSV file stored in Google Drive by an App Inventor 2 application. The created application displays images which are also stored in Google Drive. To get started, go to Google Drive. Create a folder named Pictures then store your images there. Now create a table in Google Sheet that describes the attributes of a shoe. These attributes are the item name, price, and size. In column D add for each shoe the shareable URL of its image stored in Google Drive. To get these shareable links, go to Google Drive, then right click on the selected image. Choose Get Link. In the window that appears, change the visibility to anyone with the link. Finally click on copy link. Go back to the Google Sheet and paste the link in the corresponding cell. Attention! This URL is not a direct link to the image, so you must change it in order to display the image in AI2. Instead of editing this link manually, we showed in the previous video how to create a feature in App Inventor 2 that performs this task automatically and explains in detail what to do. You will find the link to this video in the description part. We redo the same work with the other images. Now download the file in CSV format. The CSV comma separated values format is the most common format in importing and exporting spreadsheets and databases name the file and choose where to save it then open this file with notepad the csv file is a delimited text file that uses a comma to separate values each line of the file is a data record each record includes one or more fields separated by commas. Save this file in the drive. Now go to AI2 and create the application interface. In a vertical arrangement place an image component and a label that displays the attributes of each object, name of shoes, price and size. Then add a button that allows you to switch from one object to another. You can change the appearance of this button by replacing the standard shape with an image. Finally add the web invisible component which provides functions for HTTP get, post, put and delete requests. In blocks, create a variable named URL CSV drive. Assign this variable the shareable URL of the CSV file found in Google Drive. Please note, Google Drive does not provide a direct link to the CSV file. So you have to build that link yourself. Here is the first part of the link. The second part will be the ID of the CSV file. Retrieve this ID from the shareable link provided by Google Drive. Remember to select anyone with the link. Copy the link then paste it on notepad. The string between slash d slash and slash view represents the ID of the file. Now when screen 1 is initialized, the web component provides a get file. When the request is complete, the web's got text event block will run. Response content the content of the response returned by the server as a text file. Create a list object variable that contains an empty list. Then use the list from CSV table block which parses the text in CSV format and produces a list of rows, each a list of fields. Let's run this code to see the list of lists displayed in a label. Now create a procedure that displays the name, price, 
size, and image of a shoe. This procedure takes as parameter a list of fields. Then use the initialize local name to block which is a mutator that allows you to create new variables that are only used in the procedure that you execute in the do part of the block. Assign the index 1 field in the list to the shoe variable. Assign the index 2 field in the list to the price variable. Assign the index 3 field in the list to the cut variable. Assign the index 4 field in the list to the image variable. Now display the name, price and size in the lab show txt label. To display the image we use the picture property of the image component. The path to the image is stored in the image variable. We use a create function in the previous video to automatically modify the URL in order to obtain a direct link to the image. Finally, call this procedure when the user clicks on the button. The variable index is incremented by one to move from one list to another. If the value of this variable is greater than the number of elements in the list list object then it takes the value 1 to return to the list 1.